In today's video, I will be sharing some really fun, cute Christmas DIY. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. This way you're notified every time I upload a new exciting video. You don't want to miss. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, I hope you do. And um, I would love to have you in my YouTube family. So without further ado, let's get crafting. All right, guys, we are going to make some fake hot cocoa, hot chocolate cups. And these came out so cute. So I took this spackle that I got from Home Depot and I took the little plastic cake bag. So I'm spooning the spackle into the bag. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to like eyeball it right now. So I got these both from Dollar Tree and I'm taking the clear glass cup and I need to paint it. So I'm going to take the uh, nutmeg paint and the melted chocolate paint and mix a little bit together. And I'm going to be using this toilet paper roll and I cut a piece of uh, cardboard, a circle out of cardboard because it's going to fit inside the actual cups. Because we're doing hot cocoa or hot chocolate, whatever you prefer, um, that's why the piece of cardboard has to lay inside it, not on top of it. So now I'm mixing the paint together and I'm just gonna like coat it inside because we don't want clear glass to show um, the little toilet paper roll and everything like that. Plus it looks like um, hot cocoa. So I had to use two coats. I actually, in between coats, I used my hair dryer. So I'm gonna work on this one first. I'm gonna take the toilet paper roll. I already cut it so it fits inside perfectly. And then I'm gonna place a little hot glue inside and also a little bit of hot glue around the little cardboard piece and place that on top. Now I already piped the speckle, it's in the bag, and now I'm just going to start um, spreading it around the top of the little cup, um, just like it's a little bit of hot cocoa uh, topping. You know how you get the hot cocoa and it has the whipped cream on top? This is what we're doing. We're putting all the whipped cream on top. And this is how it looks. You don't want to put it too high because you know it's the whipped cream. So you just kind of like, that's kind of like dabbing it on to make it look like, you know, a realistic looking whipped cream. So now I'm going to start decorating it. So I found these candy cane spoons at Dollar Tree and I thought they would be perfect for this DIY. So I'm just going to open up the package and I'm going to take one out. Um, I'm not going to be able to use the whole entire one because, you know, we put cardboard in there, so I will have to um, cut it. Uh, this way it will fit inside the cup. So I cracked it in half and it's perfect length, so now I'm placing it inside the little cup and I think it looks cute. Now I made these little marshmallows and these little peppermints out of air dry clay and I painted them. And the little marshmallows, I just painted them white. And I'm gonna place a few of them on top. So I thought I needed a little bit of color, so I'm grabbing these Dollar Tree beads. And I couldn't find any red ones in there, so I'm just gonna place a few of the green ones on top. This is like a peppermint mocha or something you get at Starbucks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make it colorful and make it look flavorful I guess. The best part is you can use your imagination, you can decorate it any, any way, anything on top goes. 
So I was gonna add a little bit of the chocolate brown on top, so I'm just gonna put a few little swirls on top. Now I'm gonna top it off with some white glitter that I got from Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> so this is gonna give it that nice glittery shine to it. And this is how it turned out. It came out very cute. Now I'm gonna be working on the cup that looks like hot chocolate and I'm placing the glue at the bottom and I'm gonna do the same process I'm adding a little bit of glue around the edges of the cup. Alright, I already piped my spackle, so now I'm just going to start applying it inside the cup. I'm starting on the outside rim first. Normally I would start in the middle, but um, I just want to build it up on the sides first and then I'm going to start dabbing in the middle. So now I'm going to take these chocolate candy spoons that I got from Dollar Tree and although they are large I'm going to snap one in half to make it fit and I think that's going to set it off pretty good. Now I made these little chocolate pieces with the air dried clay. I painted them with the chocolate brown color. I'm just going to place a few on top. I'm gonna be using this tube confetti that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna place a few on top just to top it off. It looks good enough to eat, don't you think? I think it really looks good. Now I'm grabbing the marshmallows that I made with the air dry clay and I'm going to place a few around top of the middle area and I think this looks so delicious. So I decided to use the chocolate brown and just uh, put a little bit on top just to top it off. I think it looks really great with that on top. Now I'm going to grab the white glitter and um, sprinkle some on top to give it that really cool looking sparkle. Now I'm going to be making these little tiny um, Starbucks sort of speak kind of cups and I am using these little red cups that I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to place some glue at the bottom and I'm taking these little ping pong balls or the eyeballs that I got from Halloween and just sticking that inside placing down a little bit of hot glue so they stay put. So I piped in inside both the cups but I'm not sure what happened to the footage. Um, I don't know what happened but uh, I, I piped it the same way I did the other uh, cups so um, <laughs> so we'll just move forward so now that they are full of the spackle I put a straw inside from Dollar Tree I just cut a little piece and put that inside as well and I put a few of the little tiny marshmallows so that's where we're at right now so I'm placing down the little peppermints that I made with the air dry clay on both of them So I'm going to make a little hanger for these little tiny cups so you can hang them on your tree or wherever. So I'm just grabbing a little piece of um, floral wire and I'm going to twist a little piece and then I'm going to tie the little um, string at the end of it and then place it inside the cup. So once it dries, it'll be, you know, good enough to hang anywhere. You can still put it in your tear tray if you like to. You don't have to put the hooks in there. So I figured out what I did wrong. Um, I thought it was on when it wasn't on, so I'm missing a lot of pieces. So let me tell you, I took the little Starbucks em emblem or label, whatever you want to call it, and I took some Mod Podge and I Mod Podge it to the sides of the little cups. And then I topped it off with a little bit of the chocolate on top with some glitter too. These came out really cute as well. You can give them as gifts or you can just put them in your tree or your tear tray.
Okay, moving on to the next DIY. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's like one of those little cardboard signs. I took the little piece that was on the front off, kind of left like the piece of the cardboard left behind. That's okay. I'm going to cover it with this microfiber that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cover just the top. I'm going to take this microfiber. I'm going to place it over the top, place a little glue and glue it down. And then I'm going to trim the sides. Now I'm just trimming all the sides. I'm going to keep the black and white checker um, visible. I didn't want to cover it up. I thought it looked really cute. So I decided to create like a winter scene, this little Dollar Tree board. But I did want to place a little bit of the silver ribbon from Dollar Tree around the edges just to break it up. I still want to leave the black and white, but I just want to break it up a little bit. So I'm just going to hot glue it all the way, all the way around. So now I'm going to start decorating. So I want to apply some fake snow on these two Dollar Tree trees. So I'm just going to apply some Mod Podge to both of them. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree Mod, Mod Podge <laughs> fake snow and applying it on the green tree. And then I'm going to do the same process on the little yellow one. So both trees are done. So I'm going to take this Dollar Tree deer, the crystal deer. And I got this little tiny scarf. It was on one of the Dollar Tree snowmen. I took it off. I'm just gonna apply it on this deer. It's a little too loose for the deer's neck, so I'm just gonna cut it and then place a little glue in the back to tighten it up. I think the scarf looks so cute on him. So now I'm just gonna place a little bit of glue on his feet and place him down. I got this ideal from, um, I don't know if you guys have a store located near your area, it's called the Christmas store. I love that store. It's amazing. And it's very inexpensive and they have some awesome stuff. So I've seen a lot of Winter Wonderland kind of um, decor and that's where I got this inspiration from. So I thought I would add a little bit of pine cones um, in front of the deer. I got these from Dollar Tree. It came in a big bag. I'm just going to place a few down just to make it look very Christmassy. Not Christmassy, but like Winter Wonderland kind of feel. Like when you're out in the snowy fields. So now I'm going to be placing down the green Christmas tree in the back. I'm placing the gold one in the back but a little further to the right and I'm going to take the little smaller green one place that right in the middle. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree ornament, it's a little Santa sled, and I'm going to place that down right behind the deer. Now I'm just going to be placing some greenery and some berries inside the sled with a little bit of glue. I took a pickup heart that was um, bought from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add some white paint to the pine cones to make it look like snow. And that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to add some lights. So I got these fairy lights from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place some glue, place the strand of lights around the edges. And this is how it turned out. It looks just like Winter Wonderland. It came out really great. So I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree uh, ornament that I got, the little Christmas tree, and I'm using this Red Barn Red paint, a maple barrel, and one of these picks from Dollar Tree, and then this wood frame. 
from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to paint. It was painted before and it needed another coat, so I'm just going to apply another coat. So now I'm taking this um, skewer from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it with this chocolate brown color. This is what the bird's going to sit on, its little perch. So now I'm taking the back of the board that's been painted black and I'm taking this deco mesh that I got from Dollar Tree. It's very pretty. And I'm just going to cut a piece and hot glue it down to the back of the board. Because it's not going to fit, I'm going to have to take two pieces and glue them together. Now I'm just taking my scissors and cutting the overhang that's hanging on the sides. Now I'm just gluing down the other part of the deco mesh and then I'm going to trim off the edges. Now that it's finished, I'm just going to place it back inside. Now I'm going to place the bird perch right on top. Just going to measure it, cut it down and hot glue it. I'm making sure it's straight and then I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and place some glue. Now I'm going to take down the little red bird that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place them on his perch with just a little glue. I think this came out really cute and you can use it throughout the winter. Um, don't need it just for Christmas. It's um, like a winter type of decor. I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree ornament and I'm just going to place it down right next to the bird. I will be using this Hobby Lobby ribbon and I'm just going to cut a piece and place a very simple bow at the top. I just want this to be very simple and elegant um, so I'm just going to add just the bow. I'm just going to use some jute twine to tie it off and then I will place it down and then I'm going to take another piece. I'm going to hot glue a little piece and then place it on top of the bow to cover the jute twine. I was going to add the thankful sign, but I thought I would be too busy, so I deleted it. And then I was going to add some pics, and then I said, no, I didn't want to add the pics because I think it would overpower the bird and the tree. I just wanted it simple. Just creating some points on the bow right now, and then I'm going to place it down. And this is how it turned out. Very elegant, very pretty, very simple. Here's a quick and easy DIY. I took this Dollar Tree uh, round wood piece and these little window clings I got from Walmart for, I think they were $2.99, but I got them for half off. So I'm just going to use this white paint by Apple Barrel and I'm not really going to cover the whole entire wood piece. I'm just going to lightly apply it in the middle. I just want the white paint to appear underneath the wording once I apply the words on top. Now I'm going to be placing down the window clings and I'm going to use the Mod Podge. And I'm going to place the Mod Podge on the window clings and place it down on the wood piece. I know Christmas is really getting close and everybody's pretty much probably done decorating and shopping, but you can use this all year round. You can take any type of window clings and use this idea. So I'm just applying a little bit of Mod Podge on the top of the words just to coat it and to seal it. So I already cut a piece of uh, Dollar Tree ribbon out that I'm going to be using, but before I use it, I'm going to actually take this gift bag string and use it as a hanger behind it and hot glue. 
Now I'm going to hot glue down the bow that I made with the Dollar Tree ribbon to the top. I took this off one of Dollar Tree um, ornaments and I'm just going to place it right on top of the bow. So quick and easy and this is how it came out. I think it came out really cute and adorable for Christmas. All right, this is going to be the last DIY. I took this Dollar Tree. It looks like a light bulb. It's pretty cute. Um, it has a hole at the bottom. So I wanted to make some kind of like wintry scenic scene. I'm using Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it all inside because I'm going to use the fake snow and some white glitter um, to create that illusion of a wintry storm. So now I'm going to take the fake snow and I'm going to sprinkle some inside along with some of the white glitter until it's totally coated inside. Now I'm sprinkling some of the white glitter inside and heavily coating it because I like that pretty sparkle. Now I took a little microfiber cloth I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut out a little circle because I'm going to place that inside um, to make it look like it's snow inside there and um, just cutting it down to size right now and then I'm going to hot glue it. Now I'm going to start adding the little Christmas characters inside. I'm going to take these little Christmas trees, hot glue them in the back inside. Now I got these little Christmas figures from Hobby Lobby. They're considered buttons, but they don't look like buttons to me. So now I'm going to take Santa, put a little glue on his little feet and place them right in front of that little Christmas tree. Now I'm taking Mrs. Claus and I'm going to do the same thing. And last but not least, we have Rudolph and we're going to place him right in front. So I want to make like a Santa's hat. So I took this Dollar Tree sock, I'm just going to cut it by the heel and then I'm going to hot glue it on top to cover up that gold color. I didn't like it so I thought this would look really cute. So I'm just using the hot glue to hold it down and I'm going to place it all the way around so this way I can get an idea how much I have to cut off. So I used some white string and I tied it off and right now I am just um, tightening it. So I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Snowball for the top of the hat. And this is how it turned out. It came out so cute. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time guys. Bye-bye.